Having physically connected your Jadoo 3, this video will go through the steps needed to configure and register your Jadoo 3 ready for use. Once your box is powered on, it will show you the home screen, as seen here. The fastest way to set up your Jadoo 3 is to use the Setup Wizard. To launch the Setup Wizard, select Setup from the home page using the arrow keys on the remote and then press Enter or press Setup button directly on your remote. Setup will be launched with Setup Wizard highlighted in the menu. Press Enter on the remote to start the Setup Wizard. Step 1 is Language Settings. By default, English is selected as the language. Use the arrow keys on the remote to select your desired language and then press the green key on the remote to continue to step 2. Let's first do the setup for a wired connection. We'll look at wireless after. Press the green button on the remote to continue to the next step. The setup wizard will obtain an IP address for you automatically. Press the green button on the remote to continue to the next step. This step is for setting your proxy server, which is optional. If you do not know what this is, we suggest you just skip this step. The setup wizard will automatically establish an internet connection. Let's rewind and go back to step 2. If, at step 2, you selected wireless, then you will be taken to this screen, and the available wireless networks will automatically be detected and displayed. The wizard will ask you to enter your network password. Press enter on the remote to launch the keyboard to type the password. Type your password by selecting the keys on the soft keyboard using the arrow keys and enter on the remote. When you have finished entering the password, select the tick button on the soft keyboard and press enter on the remote. Press down arrow to select yes on the dialog box and then press enter on the remote to continue. The setup wizard will obtain an IP address for you automatically. Press the green button on the remote to continue to the next step. This step is for setting your proxy server, which is optional. If you do not know what this is, we suggest you just skip this step. The time is automatically set on your Jadoo 3 from the internet. However, you do need to set the correct time zone. Press the right arrow key on the remote with time zone already selected. Time zone options will appear on the right. Select your time zone using the up and down arrow keys on the remote and then press enter. Press the left arrow key on the remote to go back to the time setting page and then turn daylight savings on or off according to your time zone. You also have the option to use either a 12 hour or 24 hour time format. In the time setting screen, simply scroll down to time format and press enter on the remote. Use the arrow keys to select the time format you wish to use and press enter on the remote. Press the green button on the remote to continue. In the widget setting, you can set your location, which provides local information. With your location highlighted, press enter on the remote to bring up the soft keyboard. Using the arrow keys on the remote, type in your city and then scroll to the tick button and press enter. A list of matching cities will appear. Scroll to your city and select enter on the remote. You can now select whether you prefer to see weather temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius. Using the arrow keys, select Fahrenheit or Celsius and then press Enter on the remote. Next, scroll to Weather Forecast button and press Enter on the remote. Here you can select either to see the local weather forecast for today, three days, five days or one week. Just use the arrow keys on the remote to select your desired setting and press Enter on the remote. Press the green button on the remote to complete your setup and you will be presented with the setup summary. Remember, at any time you can hit the red button on the remote to start the setup over again. With the configuration complete, you are now free to use the applications in the My Jadoo menus. The first time you go to My Jadoo, you'll be asked to register the box. 
With the arrow keys on the remote, scroll to the first name field and press enter. A soft keyboard will appear. Type your name using the arrow keys and enter to select each letter. When you've completed your name, use the arrow key to scroll to the bottom to the OK button and press enter. Repeat this process for the last name field. Remember you must have at least two characters in the field for it to be recognized. The next field to complete is the password. Create a password that you will remember with the soft keyboard and the arrow keys. Go to the confirm password and enter the password again. The next field to complete is email. It is important that you use an email address that you regularly check. You will receive an email from Jadu confirming your registration. The box ID field is automatically completed for you and read from the box itself. When you have completed all of the required fields, use the arrow keys to scroll down to the submit button and press enter. The information you provided will be sent to Jadu. Once the registration is complete, you will see a message on the screen saying, box registered successfully. Using the arrow keys, scroll down to the proceed button and press enter. Congratulations, you are now ready to start enjoying your Jadu 3. In the next video, we will look at some of the new applications within the Jadu 3.